acceptance because it is a unique environment um, when people are away from home and the connectivity um, of those relationships. And uh, we need to not only care for those who are serving, but we need to ensure that we are taking care of our chaplain and chaplain assistants here. And so that's what we are doing here. Sir, I also lie to him all the time. He's doing just great, no jet lag at all. I think the best thing about the CAS, and anytime you bring chaplains and chaplain assistants together, the best thing you get out of it is a chance to network and connect and meet with people. And this is a chance for me as a mid-career chaplain to talk to a lot of senior chaplains and just learn sage wisdom from them. That is one of the major, you know, combat multipliers that we bring, is being able to help these soldiers and their families through their adverse situations that they're going through. And that, uh, you know, sometimes we wonder where that hope is, and there is hope there. And, you know, and I would challenge every soldier and every family member to, uh, you know, don't just give up. Go and speak to your chaplains. Go and speak to your chaplain assistants who have this complete confidentiality where you can go and talk to them about anything and everything and they will keep that between you and them and that they will help you work through these issues and get you the help that you need. Amen. Amen.